Welcome sports fans! It's a great day for a baseball game! Physics style! Listen to that crowd! All those folks are watching the game! They sure get excited when the ball is crushed out of the park or a player dives to catch a ball and snatches it right out of thin air or a pitcher throws a blazing pitch past a swinging batter. And oftentimes the fans will turn to the big screen just to see a number. There is so much motion in baseball and so much more to a hit, catch, or throw than a number. Watching baseball and looking at numbers are meaningful, don't get me wrong, but have you ever seen what a hit looks like? Or have you ever seen what a really cool pitch looks like? From the pitcher's frame of reference, he throws the ball forward to the catcher. Check out the big screen. That's what his pitch looks like. You can see the pitcher throw the ball forward to the catcher. Where the graph stops is where the catcher is, 60 feet away. Let's watch the next pitch. Check out the big screen now. Wow, it went the same distance, but took a lot less time. That pitch was smoking. Here comes another one. Check it out. One more time to the big screen. Again, the ball went the same distance, but look how much more time it took. That was a really lazy looking pitch. The slope of the lines shows the speed of the ball. You can see that the second pitch was moving a lot faster than the third pitch because the slope is steeper. We can also see that the ball was moving away from the pitcher because the pitcher was standing at zero. Totally way cool from a picture. Let's look at those pitches again from a catcher's perspective. Let's check out what that looks like. From the catcher's point of view, the ball is coming towards him and fast too. Now let's look at the slow pitch to the big screen. Again, you can see the ball is coming towards the catcher, but this time at a much slower rate. We can see that the pitches thrown to the catcher went the same distance, but the fast pitch has a much steeper slope than the slow pitch. Now let's look at all the graphs. This is so cool. The direction of the slope shows the direction of motion. From these pictures, we can see virtually everything about the motion of the ball. We can even take the information these pictures provide and construct more pictures showing velocity and acceleration. Now up to bat, Doug Fagelman. Now it's my turn. Time to see my picture when I smack this ball right out of the park. Watch this. That's a beaut. Looking good, looking good, and it's out of here. I told you so. You can see the ball comes towards me, and then I smack it right away. Wow, there's so much we can learn from a graph. Look at that curvy thing at the bottom. That has meaning too. We'll talk about that when we get back to the classroom.